blood grouping experiment. An adult human has about 4 to 6 liters of blood circulating in the body. Blood consists of several types of cells including white blood corpuscles or WBC and red blood corpuscles or RBC floating around in fluid called plasma. There are certain protein molecules called antigens located on the surface of the red blood cells and antibodies which are in the blood plasma. The differences in human blood are due to the presence or absence of these antigens and antibodies. Individuals have different types and combinations of these molecules. According to the ABO blood grouping system discovered by Carl Lanster, there are four types of blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB and blood group O. RH or rhesus factor is found on the RBC surface in most people. Like A and B, this is also an antigen and those who have these antigen are called RH positive. Those who lack this antigen on the surface of RBCs are called RH negative. To conduct the experiment, we require three monoclonal antibodies, anti-A, anti-B and monoclonal D kept in an icebox. Lancets, spirit, cotton balls, toothpick and glass light. Procedure Swap the finger with cotton balls dipped in a spirit and take blood sample using a lancet as shown. Take three separate drops of blood on a glass light. Place a cotton ball on the finger to stop the blood flow. Pour one drop each of anti-A, anti-B and monoclonal D on each drop of blood respectively. Mix the monoclonal antibodies with the blood sample properly using a toothpick. Make sure you take a new toothpick for mixing each drop. When RBCs carrying one or both antigens are exposed to the corresponding antibodies, they agglutinate, that is they clump together. For example, in this slide, agglutination occurs on the first and the third drops which corresponds to antigen A and RH factor, so the blood group is A positive. Thus, we can identify the blood group by noticing the agglutination on the corresponding drops.